No. <laughs> hey guys, I'm currently sitting on the floor of my Airbnb. This is gonna be my home for the next week. But um, for this video, I could give you guys a little tour of the Airbnb. I thought that'd be fun. And then we can do some unpacking and do some organizing. And I know people like to watch that kind of stuff. I like watching that kind of stuff. I've been living out of a suitcase for three weeks and it's a pain. <laughs> Just a little backstory. Corey and his mom moved down to Florida a few months ago. So Corey and his mom have been staying at his uncle and aunt's house while they're waiting to move into their new place. And so when I came down here, I was staying over at his aunt and uncle's house. But I just wanted Corey and I to have some privacy and I didn't want to overstay my welcome. Also with everything happening, I just didn't want to constantly be staying at someone's house that's not mine and like risk getting them sick. Um, long story short, I only rented this one for a week and I have another week that I need to rent an Airbnb for before he moves in. I originally booked a, another Airbnb and it actually didn't have a kitchen or anything in it. It was kind of just like a hotel room. But it was super cute. Um, and I booked it, um, but then the governor of Florida, I guess, or this area, I don't know, put in some restrictions to vacation rentals, question mark. I don't understand, because this place I had no problem booking, um, but the place I was originally gonna book in the area it was in, I guess, is affected. I don't know, either way. So they had to cancel my booking and refund me all the money for it, but I still haven't received the refund, even though it says I've been refunded, and it's been two days now. It's not hit my bank account. If you didn't know, it's expensive to rent Airbnbs and hotels, and I need that money back so I can use it to book another place. So <laughs> I've only booked this place for a week, and then there's a cheaper place that I might be booking if it's still available for the next week. Little did she know, they would change the rules even further and only allow people to rent for a minimum of 30 days. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to contact my host that I'm staying in now and see if we'll just extend it for another week since we're already staying here, so I don't see the problem. But um, people need somewhere to live for like a week too. Like, I don't get it, I'm already here. What's the difference? So it'll just depend. Like this place is really nice and it's very clean and stuff, so. It's also in a convenient area. I can walk to a grocery store, which is good when Corey's not here. I just want to be honest with you guys. It's also a pretty cute area, so maybe I'll get to take some little pictures or something. Uh, that is the gist of what's happening. Let's show you the Airbnb. Okay, so when you walk into the front door, <laughs> this is the main room. So it has a little dining room. It has an extra chair here. The kitchen, which is absolutely beautiful. This and the bathroom was the whole reason I wanted to rent this place, just because how pretty it is. And like, I want this kitchen. <laughs> like, I want this kitchen in my future home. So cute. If you pan over here on the other side is the living room. So it's all together in one room. Also very nicely decorated. They have a lot of greenery, a lot of cute pictures like palm trees and stuff. And just the aesthetic of the place is really cute. Um, I love the coloring. They have like the wood, they have the jute rug. It's very aesthetic. <laughs> A lot of really cute like vintage postcards and stuff on there. They have the little dining table, which is nice. We can sit down. I've been sitting on a bed for the last like three weeks and my back is killing me. So I'm so happy to actually have like a table that we can sit in. This is the little coffee station. I don't really like hot coffee, but they have a really nice little Keurig here. Some little Keurig cups. They have teas. A little brick wall here, which is kind of cool. It has like kind of a New york -y vibe to it. But my favorite piece, Corey's also favorite piece of this kitchen is the vintage big chill fridge. I am obsessed with this fridge, it's so cool. It's actually a pretty regular sized fridge and it's really nice that renting an Airbnb, I can have a freezer and a fridge and it's not even just like a mini fridge, I can actually fit a week's worth of food in there and not have to keep going back to a grocery store and stay inside to self quarantine like we're supposed to. So, super nice. Then we go over here, we have the full kitchen. Love that it has these like gold details. It also has all of the necessities that you need. It has pots and pans, it has, even has Tupperware, which I was surprised. I was like, oh crap, we have nowhere to put leftovers, but there's a couple small Tupperware containers. There's like everything that you would need to cook, which is amazing. Even under here, they have tons of cleaning supplies, which is great. Also, I think there's a really cute touch. These are mine from last night. <laughs> but they left like oatmeal and granola bars and stuff, which is cute. They also left some wine in the fridge, which is great. Um, Corey is the most excited about the TV. Corey brought his PlayStation with him, so he's super excited to be able to play on that. It also has AC, which is nice. Kind of a necessity in Florida, it's super hot here. Now we're gonna go into the bedroom. There's curtains that you can close to separate it. But this is the bedroom. Had to tidy it up from sleeping in here last night. I think I did a decent job. I haven't made a bed in 
weeks because we've just been being the laziest during quarantine. Another one of Corey's favorite parts is that it was a fan because he gets super hot at night. I don't know if that's just a guy thing or just a him thing, but he always needs to have the room super cold. So a fan's a necessity. He needs that or he would be a sweaty mess in the morning. <laughs> queen size bed that is memory foam this bed is so comfy and in the corner over here which is also separated by some curtains which is nice is that there's the washer and dryer i'm literally going commando right now because i have no underwear left i need to do my laundry one of my favorite parts is the full length mirror always a great <laughs> need in a airbnb or a hotel room or just a room in general to see your full outfit. Some places don't have them and it sucks. Also, the lighting in this place is amazing. It's great. Let's check out the bathroom, which is probably probably my number one favorite. I'm also matching the bathroom with this little green hair tie. Grand reveal. If this isn't the coolest bathroom we've ever seen, I don't know what. <laughs> this looks like a Pinterest bathroom. I am obsessed with it. And then it has a pink toilet, which I think is wild. I don't know why they put a pink toilet in here, but I just love the fact that this bathroom is all green. It also has some really cool knobs for the shower, the kind of vintage -y. little medicine cabinet. We have like tons of shampoo and body wash and stuff here. Also, hopefully enough toilet paper to last us a week because there's none at the grocery stores, which is sucks. Okay, and then the last little room in this Airbnb is the walk-in closet. Okay, and this is the walk-in closet. It's pretty big. Let's see, yellow lighting. But this is the little walk-in closet. I didn't even know this came with the place. It wasn't in the listing from what I seen, unless I just missed it in the listing, but I'm so glad it did. I was hoping it has somewhere to put my clothes because I'm tired of living out of a suitcase. So they have very aesthetic hangers, which is a great plus, always nice. So I'm gonna hang all my clothes up in here. Extra blankets. This one's the one Corey sleeps with. He loves like fuzzy blankets. Uh, over on this side, there's tons more pillows. There's beach towels, lots more bath towels and stuff like that. Also a stool, which is great because I'm short. Also some sunscreen. It'll be really nice because we can shove our suitcases in here and then they won't just be out in the open and it'll be nice. Yeah, this is Airbnb. That is the tour. So that's what the place looks like and let's start unpacking. Okay, this is the last of the groceries. Okay, let's go put them away. <laughs> Okay, and this is the aftermath of stocking the fridge. It's nice and organized. I actually ended up finding some more like things that I forgot and put them away in here. I also moved the dressings in here just because I needed more room in that little cupboard. But yeah, this is the stocked aftermath of our little grocery haul. The freezer looks like not a lot of frozen stuff, mostly fresh stuff. We wanna try to do fresh dinners. Let me know if you guys want me to do a what I eat in the day. I was thinking about doing one since I'm stuck inside anyways and I'm gonna be cooking every meal. So let me know down below if you wanna see that. Okay, that's over with. And now to organize my clothes. final result the lighting in here is very dark but I don't want the yellow light so basically I just organized it from shirts I even put my bathing suit here just because I like the pop of color so I left it here in the front um, all my little shirts my sweaters my beachy kind of shirt then I have my sets I have all of my dresses my skirt and my jeans I have more but I need to wash them and my little free people jacket that I wore on the plane because it was freezing out when I came moved over the sunscreen into that basket I'm gonna use this basket and just put my underwear in it and my little bralettes and my yoga pants here and then my accessories <laughs> organized so this is what we did in the cover I just put all of our 
stuff that we'd need when we're standing in front of the sink, basically. So Corinne's hair gel or toothpaste, stuff like that, my contacts, deodorant. I don't know where Corey's deodorant is. It's probably in his bag, but that's fine. Um, that there, and then I decided just to put all of my hair stuff and my makeup down in this little basket. Thought it was a good spot to just put it, and yeah, that's about the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, it makes me so happy that the closet is all organized. That in the kitchen, just wanted all of that stuff put away so it wasn't sitting around anymore. I was waiting to film this video to do all of it. And yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Let's enjoy this little video, um, me showing you our Airbnb for the week. Tons of opportunities to film here, so let me know down below any videos you wanna film. I already have a whole list of ones I wanna film. Okay, peace out. <laughs>